Hey, what's up, y'all? Daquan here with DaquanBowens.com, here to help musicians take their playing to the next level. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to play main and aux keys at the same time. All right, so the first thing you need to do when you're playing main and aux keys is have good gear. Make sure your gear is set up. The thing that I have on the bottom board, which is the Jupiter 80, probably my all-time favorite board right now, right? I have a split or a zone. So that means different parts of the keyboard has different sounds. So let's check it out. So I have this road sound. Right? And this is at its normal octave, right? But, and then underneath that, I have this polysynth, right? The polysynth is actually an octave higher than the pitch that I'm playing, so, right? So that's gonna give the feel that more musicians are playing. So if I have it at the same position, right? It doesn't stand out, that pad. Now let me bring that pad, or that polysynth, rather, and I give up, it stands out. I have this all the way up to about A, A4, I believe, right? And from B flat four up, it's just a string sound. And up here, I have a key bass. Right, and this is the uh, XP60, right? I brought this keyboard back to life. Someone gave it to me. I'm so grateful for that because this board is fire. But one of the things you want to do uh, with your board is turn off the sustain pedal switch. I'm playing the sustain pedal and I have that activating the string sound, no hands, right? Now on a normal piano, everything will be sustained. As you can see, it's not, it's not being sustained. That's very important to be able to glue things together. There's so many features in these boards now, even on these old boards, right? So you wanna make sure you're using it to its fullest potential. Let's play a song and let's see how it goes. Here we go. Right? You know what I'm saying? So you can get really complex with your boards if you know how to use the parameters and you set your board up, zoning it out so that you have certain sounds on the bottom, certain sounds on the top. I recommend you have at least a 76 note keyboard when you're doing this, right? You can do it with a 61, but you just have a lot less space to uh, really do your thing with. So we just scratched the surface on playing main keys and aux keys at the same time. It takes a lot of technique and a lot of focus to be able to play these parts and make it sound like there's multiple people on stage when it's just you, okay? So if you wanna learn the skills to create and master your own sound, consider joining DB Music Academy. Uh, it's my online membership platform where I'll be giving you guys concepts, right? I won't just be showing you things that you can just copy and paste. I'm going to teach you concepts to play to songs that you already know. Okay? That's a big deal on how you can create your own sound. So if that sounds interesting to you, the link is in the description, and I'll see you guys there.